Welcome to how to write a lab report in LaTeX. In this video, I'm going to explain to you how you use LaTeX to write your lab report. And this means that you can get extra credit for the style. I've said before that in year two, it's compulsory to write all your lab reports in LaTeX. So in year one, although it's not compulsory, it's a good idea to get a start and extra credit is available for this. So the first thing you need to do is log into Vital. When you've logged into Vital, you need to go into ELEC 171 or ELEC 172, depending on what you're registered for. Once you go into this module, you go into Learning Resources. Once you're in Learning Resources, you go into LaTeX, sorry, you go into Lab Report LaTeX Template and basically do what it says. So it says download all the files in this folder. There's four files in there and then upload them to sharelatech.com. And I'm going to show you that website in a moment. What you should do is edit the text in the text file to include your content of your report. And then the .bib file is going to be where you put your references. If you want to include any additional images in your document, then you should upload them to the same project folder on sharelatech.com. So if we go into this folder, you'll be able to see that there's four different files. So you've got the report template, the reference file, the university crest, which is used to go on the top of your lab report. And then this is just a sample image of an op amp diagram to show you how it looks in a lab report. So you need to download each of these files. So um, you can save link as is the best thing to do or go into it, open it and save it. Um, it's worth noting if you open this, it might not behave correctly. Oh, mine's recognizing it as a tech file because I've got a LaTeX editor on my computer. But um, if you do download it, be careful that Windows doesn't automatically make it a .txt file because otherwise it then won't work on share LaTeX. But you can rename that by doing pressing F2. The next thing you need to do is you need to go to sharelatech.com. I'll show you what this looks like. So when you go to sharelatech.com up here, you'll see that you've got your registration um, option. So what I want you to do is register for an account. And then once you've done that, log in. So I've already done that. So let's log in. And what you can do is you can create different projects. And I want you to um, create a new project. So over here, you'd create a new project and you can upload. If you want to put all of those four folders into a zip file, you can upload that. Otherwise, create a blank project and then just upload the files to it. I recommend you call this experiment Q and then your name so it doesn't get confused. Once you've uploaded your files to share LaTeX, um, they're then web based. And that means you can then open them and edit them from any computer. Um, I've discovered in the past that if you're using Internet Explorer, share LaTeX might be slightly buggy, but it works absolutely perfectly for Firefox or for Chrome. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go into the lab template because that's what I called this because I set this up. Then you go into your project file, whatever you've called it, and you can see this looks a bit terrifying to begin with. Don't worry. What you've got is over here. So this is your home folder for your report and it will be called whatever you've named your project. You can add files to it by going new and then you can upload a file. So if you want to add an extra image, that's what you do. Equally, you can uh, delete them or you can rename them. Um, so what we're mainly interested in is this .txt file and you need to type the content of your lab report in here. But what LaTeX does is it's like coding a report. So you type the content and then LaTeX deals with all the layout and making it look pretty. The reason why it's useful to know LaTeX is a lot of universities and a lot of companies use it because it gives them much more control over the way their documents look to the outside world. So if you're working as, as an engineer, you type the content of what you've done into the te LaTeX template and then it's produced in all the company um, format so it all fits. What I want you to do first of all is put those four files into your folder. Then over here I want you to click compile. This says recompile because I've used this project before but for you it will just say compile. So I want you to compile that and check that you do get a PDF output. It might take a minute to do so it will compile and then it will load. Um, if it doesn't compile you'll get error messages and you can find out what the problem is but make sure it loads first up. So what we can see is it actually looks quite nice here. Um, I've actually already altered this. So uh, the one you have will actually say experiment question mark 
and it will be uh, the unknown circuit. So uh, what I'm doing now is I'm typing in what looks like the coding window. And if I um, do that, what will then happen is I press recompile and it will change the content of the PDF. So it's very much like coding. So start off by writing what the experiment is, what it's called, put your ID number in, put your group number in um, and write whether you're elect 171 or 172. That's the first thing. Then press recompile and what you will see is the PDF changes. So you can see I changed the content over here and it actually changed it in the PDF over here. Um, that's what LaTeX does. So you as an engineer can just write the content and not worry about the formatting. Um, traditionally, LaTeX was also used for uh, documents that were very, very long because Word used to have massive problems with uh, memory usage and it eventually a crash if you wrote a long report and you'd lose a lot of information. So LaTeX is a much more reliable form. Word has since improved. So this template is also useful as a lab report because it tells you what information you need to include. So as it says here, this document describes what expected from an engineering laboratory report. So it will tell you the basics of what you need to do. Um, I should tell you and you should note that by submitting a lab report, you confirm that you've understood the university's definitions of plagiarism and collusion from the code of practice on assessment and that it is all your own work. Then we're going to come down to the introduction. So on the introduction here, it says include a statement of the problem to be investigated. Da, 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 da. So you should include this information. But what you should do is simply in your coded bit, you should type uh, so your introduction. Introduction and then you can save. So just control S saves as normal. It's how you save down here um, and then just if you keep compiling it, it will keep changing it. And you can see that what you're doing is you're changing the content. So you can see I've typed in your introduction over here and it appears in the PDF over here. Materials and methods, I just want to say here, there's you don't have to write an entire list of everything that's given in the lab report, sorry, the lab script. If it's given in the lab script, I don't need to know. So if you'll say, you can say equipment, as detailed in the lab script, but then you have been asked to note the make and model of any equipment. So you should give that information because that does change from bench position to bench position and that should be included in your report. Basically, you can expect the person that's marking slash reading your report to be familiar with the lab script. Um, you can't assume they're going to know anything else. So if anything's on the lab script, you can refer to it and you can reference it. You don't need to copy massive chunks from it. Um, so please just go through this. This document will tell you pretty much what you need to do. There's loads of resources on the web about how to do it. So if you're struggling with something, just search for it. Um, but this document pretty much as you go through it tells you um, what you should be doing. So this, uh, as you go through the, you know, just follow through and do it as you're expected to. You should include in your report the questions, the sorry, the answers to the questions. You don't need to write the full question out. You can just refer to question 12 and then write the answer as long as it makes sense. You don't need to repeat the question, but you should probably give a bit of context. So for example, are capacitors polar components? Don't just write no or yes explain why I put it in a sentence say a capacitor is a polar component or a capacitor is not a polar component because so on. So that's where I'm going to leave this for now because otherwise it's going to be a very very long video. I'm going to do a separate one about how to do your referencing but this was your introduction to LaTeX for lab reports. <laughs>